Hate? Hate. Hate. Oh, he hates it. Hates it. It's bad. Like, like he gets emotional. Oh yeah. Kind of glazed. Oh no 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, it's any again. Is he finished with his fried rice? Is this the last thing he's putting? No 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 no. It gets oh. better. It gets better. No so, no no. Keep watching. Keep watching. Chef Bryant's out here. Not your typical chef. Owner of Mission Sandwich Social, located right here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Winner of Beat Bobby Flay season one. And today I'm going to be reacting to Uncle Roger hate Jamie Oliver egg fried rice again, but with your favorite guest chef Paul Frenchy Denamiel. Have you ever seen Jamie Oliver video? <laughs> no. But, are, are you familiar with Jamie but Oliver? But there seems to be a build up to this. Yes. A build up. A build up. Are, uh, are you a fan of Jamie Oliver? Not particularly. Not no. Particularly, yeah. I don't. I, this is a. He's British, right? He is British. Yeah. Well, that's already points against him. <laughs> that's already, you know, not to be, you know. This is actually the video that kickstarted my channel to the stratosphere. Really? But I didn't have a Frenchie on yet. You didn't have a Frenchie on. And I need a Frenchie on. Okay. All right. So we're gonna watch Jamie Oliver making egg fried rice. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Hello, niece and nephew. It's Uncle. Roger. Today. Wait, wait, wait. I just cut out. We're all his nieces and nephews? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because yeah, he was calling it, but because he was calling them niece and, and nephew also, like, in whatever he's watching. Right, right. So, like, so everybody's niece but, and. But then if you get, if you do a good video, then he'll say, now your uncle, whoever. Like, if Jamie Oliver made a good fried rice, which he never did, he would be known as Uncle Jamie. So, right. so just wait. Is there potential for me to be Uncle Frenchy? There is a potential for you to be Uncle Frenchy. Like I've been, I've been trying to, you know, I f a Michelin star. I've been trying to become <laughs> Uncle Brian forever. I even made an egg fried rice oh, video. Uncle Brian sounds cool. <laughs> I've been to many of his restaurants. Before we start, we. Oh your... wait, Jamie Oliver has a lot of restaurants. Yeah. What are they called? Jamie Oliver's Italian. Jamie Oliver's this. Jamie Oliver's wait, wait. that. He doesn't have a specific type of cooking. Uh, I don't know, really. Oh, so you know if a chef is all old, oh, he's just lending his name all across More the board? Oh, yeah, okay, then I know what's going I know what we're dealing with yeah. already. <laughs> what are we dealing with? Please, elaborate. Elaborate. Nothing. Because I want that, I want that money. <laughs> well, you know what? And guys, uh, while you're here, if you don't mind, hit the thumbs up. If you're not already, subscribe. And if you want to be extra nice, check the link in the description below and consider becoming a patron today. Smack like button. Now let's start the Ouija. Classic. And I've got a... Ugh. Two seconds into Ouija. And yeah, I, I don't like the freaking pan already. Pan. Hi -ya. Hi -ya. Where you walk? Jamie. Where, Where your walk? walk? Where hey, you? Fire rice need to use walk because you need the walk. Hey, many people asking Uncle Roger, what is walk? Hey, it is the breath of walk. When you cook with walk, the walk give the food flavor. Jamie, you have twenty five cookbooks, but you can't <laughs> afford one Wait, walk. How many cookbooks? He said twenty five. I don't know if that's accurate. May that may be an example. But I love the breath of the walk because it really is that. It's like. You could be blind and you could cook on a walk, you know? Well, I don't know about that. But. Yes, you could. Well, I guess in some ways, yes, because- You would know, you would know if you were doing it right. Right. Even if you were blind. I would agree with that if someone wasn't blind and then <laughs> went blind, okay? I'm, I, I may have to, uh, we may have to agree to disagree there. Okay. I absolutely love making this recipe. Yes, you could do this as a side dish, no trouble at all, but actually it's heading towards being a really beautiful dinner. So. Wait. Yes, you could do this as a side dish. Yeah, you see, I'm puzzled just like him. Yeah. Right now, he's that. That's that's where we're starting with the recipe. Are these scallions? Scallions. Fire Let's rice see. is side dish. When Uncle Roger going up, when my mom make me egg fire rice, that is the main dish. I never tell my mom, oh mom, this egg fire rice is only side dish. Where the main dish? Where the main dish? I would have been beaten to death. So finally slice this up, and as this pan gets nice and hot, I'm going to go in with one tablespoon of olive oil. Oh. And what? One tablespoon? Uh, wait, wait, of olive oil? Olive oil. <gasps> there's yeah. There's <gasps> no olive oil in egg fried rice. Okay. There's no olive oil in East Asian cooking. Yeah. Summer is here, and I don't know about you, but I get full of energy and life, ready to take on the world. But one thing that makes me do that a little bit more confidently is when I smell good. That's why I'm excited to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Scentbird. Scentbird is a place to begin or deepen your relationship with fragrances. Scentbird acts as a place to express your individuality and gives each and every person the power to express themselves through fragrance. They have perfumes, colognes, 
tons of unisex options, and with each fragrance, you get a 30-day supply to try before you commit to a bottle. Now, this is really important because a bottle can cost over $150, even sometimes between $300 and $500. So getting a chance to really try it out before I commit that's pretty sweet. Scentbird carries brands like Prada, Gucci, Versace, but also indie labels like Skylar, Heretic, and Confessions of Rebel. This month, I decided to try Mason 21G Terrific Tonka, which has notes of bergamot, cardamom, black pepper, nutty notes. It's really like the quintessential classic male fragrance. On the flip side, I wanted to try something completely different from what I would normally get. So I tried Mind Games Blockade, which also has notes of bergamot, but is a bit more feminine and lighter in tone overall with notes of lavender as well as mango skin. And honestly, it's not really for me. Now, this is why I really like these 30 day supply bottles because you get to give the fragrance a genuine try before you commit. And for me, I wasn't into the Mind Games Blockade, but but I did discover this Michael Germain sexual secret man with notes of nutmeg as well as grapefruit. And it's my favorite fragrance I've gotten from them so far. And I'm probably going to pick up a bottle now. Use my coupon code Brian Sao, that's B-R-I-A-N-T-S-A-O for 55% off at Scentbird. It's just a little over $7 for your first month available in the USA and Canada. Olive oil is like white people oil, not suitable for Asian dishes like egg fried rice. And I'm going to go straight in with the onions oh and we'll get them no sizzling no no, straight no. Away. you don't put the onions no, 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 in no, first no no because no. you want that freshness and that fresh yes, you put it in the end now you don't want this we're not making onion soup yeah. here <laughs> <laughs> we're not making fresh onion soup <laughs> it's garnish you, you want you want that crunch you want that texture you want that bite yes and and then and when it gets folded in and everything yeah. all those bites you're not eating it oh, oh. yeah you put it in at the end now you can put in the white segment of the scallion like halfway through that is okay but the green part is for strictly yeah. for garnish at the end but also you know, scallions, they get this slimy texture mm. as you cook it, which is kind of gross. That is why it's specifically the green segment is the slimiest part. That's why you put it in the end so you don't draw out the sliminess. You discover that also if you cut it the wrong way yeah, and it just oozes out. Yeah. And then I've got some packet pre-cooked rice. Yes, you can cook. I forgot about that. What? Use packet pre-cooked rice. You could buy pre-cooked rice? You can buy. But who would buy that? Well, in, so uh, in Asia, they have a lot of pre-cooked rice and it's actually really delicious. It's pretty good, particularly in Korea and Japan. They Are you that. saving time or is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is it just for storage? Uh, it's time for time. You know, like you just microwave it and it's ready. But this is a UK pre-made bagged rice and i've tried it before thanks to my editor jordan i'm pretty sure he's going to put up b-roll of me eating it because he brought it as a gift to me oh english produced english produced that should be the stamp of disapproval <laughs> <laughs> you know the union jack oh no <laughs> pass Re instead of rejected you have a union union flag so for me that feels like a good cheat you can hear it sizzling you hear sizzling, I hear my ancestors crying. It's <laughs> yeah, you see, the rice would be sizzling a little bit more if it wasn't for those scallions. Right. Unfortunately, he's taking away, he's he's searing the scallions that do not don't need to be seared, and it's taking away the oomph from to the rice. I'm just gonna toss it around. Right. The next. Oh. I gotta Uncle say, he's got a nice fucking kitchen though, yeah, setup. Yeah. That's his house. That's his, is that his real home? That's probably his studio filming kitchen yeah, for his show. More or less. Yeah. yeah. F him. Don't like the God look damn of it. This. I'm jealous. I'm taking ingredient from this drawer, and it, this drawer looks so white because Asian ingredient never come in jar. You ever notice that? Asian ingredient always come in, in bag. plastic bag. Yeah. Of <laughs> so true. Packaging. If your packaging look this nice, nice jar, nice bag over there. That is not Asian ingredient. Next ingredient. I have this in my home Ugh. all the time now. Chili jam. This. What I tell you? What is that? It's not chili Asian jam. ingredient. What are you doing with chili jam? Let's see. Brilliant for cooking. It's got heat, but it's, it's also got chili jam. It, this is again. This is a fucking English thing with fucking mint jelly in their fucking lamb chops. <laughs> this is like you know, put jam on everything. And it's been, and it's been, it's digressed into so much. What do the Australians eat? Uh, Vegemite. Vegemite. What the f <laughs> It's a, that's a, like a beef protein I, jam You, you or realize within a one minute span, you've pissed off two countries. Oh no, but I like Aussies. 
<laughs> except for I like Aussies. You like Aussies except for Vegemite. No, but I can't date Aussie women. It's too that accent. Hey, hey, bloke. Yeah, <laughs> come over here. Let's go on a date. I can't. That that wouldn't that wouldn't work. Kind of oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 it's any, again, is he finished with his fried rice? Is this the last thing he's putting? No, 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 it gets oh. better, it gets better. No, so, no, 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 keep watching, keep watching. Putting jam in rice. This is disgusting. That, he, that should be, if anything, that all, should be warmed up and put to the side, jam? and you can add Uncle, it after. Served on the side at, yeah. like, you know, it's very common for yeah. a lot of Western yeah, places around here. They give you soy sauce packets and duck sauce packets the, the on the side. Sauce. Yeah. People will... Sh will throw tons of that stuff. But you don't sauce. cook it into the rice. No. And you will see later he fried up this fried rice even more. Does that turn into like glue? Like more, uh, see. How many things can a chef get wrong in one video? Hiya. Two nice teaspoons go in to our pan and then just start tossing again. It toss very poor, but it toss all the wrong stuff. Like all style, that. no substance. That will start to coat every single rice grain, and it will shine in the most beautiful way. Well, no, way. look. And then you just see the glue? Look, 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 look. A water. Wait, he what? put water. What? He put water in the fried no. rice. In the middle of cooking. He put water in the fr. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that face. That, that, wait. What's the why? What's the why? The water. There, the there is no why. This is, and no. it, get, it gets worse. It gets worse. It get gets worse. Let's keep watching. At this stage, just push the rice up the side of the pan like that, and then straight into the middle. We're going to crack in two beautiful. That should have been eggs. the first thing you put yes. in the pan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. The egg look good. Egg look good. Now, now there are. I have seen it done where they're making the fried rice. They'll push it to the side and crack it in there, but that's not my preferred choice. No, nah, because I, the I want it. If there's nothing worse than to get those big clump of eggs. Yeah. Like I said, I want my OCD wants every bite. I want that consistency. I want all all the bites right. to be in there. Like right, right. <laughs> is a bit of a new ingredient. Ugh. Tofu. Top firm silken tofu. Okay. Ooh. Okay. You knew this was coming. <laughs> yeah. I see. I've reacted to this already. I wanted to see your reaction. Nah. 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 nah silken nah. tofu. Boxed silken nah. tofu. Absolutely. Positively. There's 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 no need for it. There there's ever. only there's only in my eyes in my opinion there's only one way to use tofu and fried rice. If you use as a door door weight. <laughs> Okay. Did I make my point there? Yes. Okay. Who make your tofu? Capri Sun? <laughs> when Uncle Roger buy tofu, Asian market always come in plastic bags. And what you can do is just break this up. Oh. No, no. Oh. no. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> he make Uncle Roger put my leg down from chair. Baking tofu like how Auntie Helen baked Uncle Roger hot. He waste the spring onion. He wet the rice. And now he tear apart the tofu like paper. I don't know if Uncle Roger can go on. This depression is too na, much. Na, na, I want to na, na. today and I want a little bit. <laughs> so, the nice thing about this stir fried rice is it's kind of random. Random is... What he say? <laughs> what he say? The nice thing about this stir fried rice is it's kind of random. Random is not compliment. You make yeah, that is not a compliment. I was just about to say that. Why your food so random? And Jamie say, oh my god, so random. Gonna start restaurant. <laughs> Season with a little salt. Give it a little toss. To salt, again, no MSG. But Uncle Rod to talk about MSG, too many Weijo now. Mix it all up and then we're ready to serve. Get a bowl. Put a little oil. This guy loves olive, olive oil. oil like how Auntie Hersha love colander. He put olive oil on everything. Do you shower with olive oil also? Yeah, but who's watching Jamie Oliver? More Brits, right? Yeah. Yeah. But the <laughs> them. But <laughs> <laughs> Let them learn the bad way. Ice dishes and that kind of street food, which is beautiful. It's often associated with being unhealthy. This has been made to be healthy. If by healthy you mean disgusting, then yeah. Jamie, you are right. It's, it's, it's healthy because it's disgusting because you will not eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so there are, hence it is healthy. I gotta give it to the French. You know, it's French, French discipline, French cooking is the only one that every other style of food has fused with it to make their, to level up or to create something well, else. Well, the French really did a good job at documenting the process, having, yeah. like you said, the discipline. And because they documented it and created basically a, like a, a curriculum, it was 
it was thus, and this is just my opinion, let me know if you think differently in the comments below, but because they were disciplined with it, because they documented, documented everything, they created this cur curriculum, it also allowed it to educate other people more easily rather than like, oh, it's a recipe of a little bit of this or a little bit of that. Now in today's modern age, I feel like that's become videos. Right. And that is why I like to react to bad cooking because basically I'm calling out when you're not using the right technique. And there are times when I learn something. It's a teachable moment. But it, it, is, a, it is a learning moment. You learn a lot from what not to do. I, listen, I learned the most from, from making mistakes. Dude, I'm so lucky that like when I, when I grew up, I had the luxury of making mistakes and reacting to my own mistakes, not being like, you get there quicker that someone, de yeah, you fucked it up, right? But trying to figure out on your own why you fucked it up, the lesson stays Sticks impregnated. With you. Right, I feel like a lot of people are too scared of making mistakes when they don't remember that um, some of the best lessons come from making mistakes. And some of the best recipes have been mistakes. True that, true that, yeah. Absolutely, you know? I definitely agree with that. This rice looks so wet. Yeah. Look at this. You can see your reflection inside. Mulan is gonna start singing when she see this rice. So silky. He, like, he likes that reference. Yeah. It's fantastic. And it's really good fun no. to make. Oh, it's really good fun to make. Jamie is professional chef. All the step he messed up. Does this guy hate rice or something? What else have he done with rice? <laughs> Jerk. Oh, this guy, I think he just hate rice in general. Maybe he's sponsored by potato company. But that's but that's all they have over there is potato. <laughs> and they didn't even have that until they discovered you America. Wait, wait, wait. What what do you mean? Well potato is bread plant. It came from South America. Oh, oh yeah. So yeah, what yeah, the yeah. fuck were they eating before? They didn't, <laughs> they didn't have corn, yeah. they didn't have potatoes. So what the hell were they eating before? Like roots, bark? <laughs> What the f were they eating? I don't know. Ed, uh, my editor Jordan's from the UK. What did you guys? Oh no, he. Our editor is yeah, from the. He's from the UK. Oh, oh man, don't, don't. I'm gonna get put in a bad light. <laughs> I'm gonna have uh, every fat freeze frame, <laughs> double chin is gonna be popping up now. Chef Paul Denamiel, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I love Uncle Roger. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as we did. Before we go, Chef Paul, let everyone know who you are and what you're about. Hey guys. Come see me at Le Rivage restaurant where uh, you might actually see me working there as a chef. <laughs> Le Rivage restaurant in the heart of New York City. 340 West 46th Street. Love you. Miss you. Come see me. Before we close out this episode, I do want to give a special shout out to my amazing patrons, Thomas Naparalski, Kevin Thomas, Tyler Rory, and Logan Thompson. Wow, that's a lot of Toms and Thompsons. Guys, thank you so much for your support. And for the rest of you, remember, by becoming a patron, you get to take advantage of some awesome perks like early access to new episodes, patron exclusive content, uncensored, extended, and ad free versions of certain episodes like this one. Be sure to visit the link in the description below and consider becoming a patron today. And finally, thanks again to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check out the links in the description below. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video as much as we did making it. And remember, don't be afraid to fail because it can only make you stronger. And with that said, I am Chef Brian Sal. Frenchy. And we'll see you really soon. Say bye to the wide cam. Bye. Wait, was that a fat joke? No. <laughs>